students uh, now we will discuss about activity 2 okay so i already opened the packet tracer file so when i opened the file they asked me that uh, user profile i change the guest to rajesh and i enter my email id okay now i'll start with the scratch okay so this one fan the objective is fan line light should be turned on if the door is open and else door close means fan and light should be off okay so add the following devices in the top of a logical workspace fan lamp and door so i'll go for fan yes mr fan then lamp so uh, we'll go for lamp in the sense i'll go for uh, light okay this one i'll go for this one and this one door this is door okay i'll change the name okay door then fan then i'll make this lamp okay then what else i need to add is uh, switch 2960 end device pc and server okay so switch i'll go here 2960 end device pc and uh, server like this okay so i'll make the switch name as s1 pc server just server okay now what they are telling is um, add fast ethernet adapter to all iot devices iot devices are fan lamp door so i want to add fast ethernet for these interfaces go here what we'll do go to door click device advanced then go for io config there we have one w change that to cfe fast ethernet okay uh, do the same for fan click the device click advanced then go to io config go to a network adapter this uh, wireless change to cfe okay fast ethernet then lamp also iot device go to advanced you can see io config here in the network adapter one i'll go for wireless mafi it is cfe done okay now connect these devices to s1 that's what the next step let me check connect fast ethernet uh, interface of iot devices pc and server to switch okay all these devices to switch as well as pc and server okay so i'll take the fast ethernet cable this one straight through go here fast ethernet zero any one port okay zero bar one another one door also here zero bar two and here uh, this one lamp also here will go for zero bar three also here pc fast ethernet zero here zero bar four here server and make this zero bar five okay fast enough okay and to make it faster no fast forward button so that all the amber will become the green now the switch cross for ports are now active okay now after that what i will do is uh, as an ip address 10.192.160 10.1 subnet mask 255.250 to server okay enable dhcp so here i'll go to the server you know where to configure the ip address go to desktop then ip configuration static okay 192.168. dot what was that ip i forget uh, uh it is what is that 10.1 okay so here 192.168.10.1 okay done 25 this one done okay now go to services they asked me to uh turn on see enable dhcp service set the following parameters on the existing server pool okay start ip and subnet mask okay go to services mr dhcp is there and you have to enable the service server pool is already there don't change don't create a new pool inside the same server pool just change the starting ip as 10.2 partner mask 255250 as you are editing the existing pool do not try to add the pool just click save button okay that is done now go to the question again enable iot service on the server okay then we have to enable dhcp on fast ethernet interfaces of iot device and pc confirm the ip address is proper okay so go to the server again now we have to go to services iot turn it on and meantime go to iot device sorry uh, the uh, which one our iot devices go to get the ip address automatically dynamically go to config you have to go for fa0 click fa0 then dhcp just wait for the ip address to be received okay 10.2 now go to fan also go to the config menu then go have uh, we have that fast ethernet zero go here and choose dhcp you will get 10 dot again three four like that okay now again lamp lamp also will go for here fast ethernet zero you have to get the ip from the server dhcp maybe 10 dot four as a sequence okay now go for the computer in the computer also go to desktop then go to the ip configuration it is dhcp then you will get the ip address automatically yes now one time uh, last time what happened one student okay what is she did uh, she tried the dhcp client testing in server 
don't okay mafi only do the iot device and the pc server itself is a dhcp server so no need to assign dhcp dynamic ip address for server okay after that what i will do is open the web browser on pc to connect to server ip okay so open the web browser last time no we opened the laptop no now we open the web browser of pc now you have to enter the ip address of iot server any 192.168.10.1 that we already given in the server okay that you want to try in the web browser so i want to access the iot server from the computer okay so i'll go here type the ip address of the iot server so this one enter okay now uh, last time what happened one student uh, during the final exam instead of 10.1 she gave the ip address of uh, iot server as this starting ip of dhcp it is galat wrong okay don't try this the ip address already assigned for dhcp service 10.1 if you have any doubt what you should do go to the dhcp server go to desktop check the dhcp server ips this ip should be copied and pasted in the browser window okay of the pc now what they are telling is uh, create the account iot uh, which one username and password that mean username password that mean okay so i'll go here i think i have to register right yes what they are telling create an account yes so by default when you try to create yes, enter admin admin it will not uh, accept okay so we have to sign up add the username password as admin in the exam maybe different username password so take the question paper and try okay now create now it is created now what you should do is we have see now in that iot server window no devices added okay so what should i do i have to register all these iot device only don't register the pc only register iot devices into the service okay so i'll go for the door first device go to io configure any window come back to config you could see the server remote server okay in the server you have to enter the ip address of iot server okay so 192.168.10.1 now admin is the username you configured same you have to give here password is also admin once you connected properly the connect will change to refresh Just wait for the first one yes class done now once i do this when you go to the computer door is connected now go to the fan also same time uh, same method you have to go for the any one window then come back to config you can see remote server this is the ip address of the iot server in this case the iot server is the server itself okay sometimes if you have home gate we have to configure home gate but here this server okay now you go for 192.168.10.1 then admin then cisco sorry office cisco admin only username and password are both same then it will be refresh is done now go for the lamp also lamp also same thing go to any other menu come back to config you can see remote server ip address of iot server 192.168.10.1 Username password I configured for I IoT services admin admin okay admin admin just connect uh, will get refresh now you can see all the devices in the IoT server window okay in the browser okay now what is the next step is um, log into server from PC browser log into server from PC web browser or IoT motor I already logged in right so I can see the device okay so create the following conditions and verify the result. <laughs> Door is open, fan and light should be on. Door is closed, fan and light should be off. Okay. <coughs> what I will do, I will go here itself, conditions. Okay. I will do one thing. This time, what I will do, I will close this one and I will go to the server. Okay. Go to the server. Here I will open the server. Another method. Okay. So, last time we did from here now in the browser. Now we have one more method. Okay. Go to the server. There is an IoT monitor. <coughs> Click that IoT monitor. Two methods are okay. either you can open the computer web browser or we can go for the IoT monitor. Okay, so here I have to change the IP address as 192.168.10.1. Admin admin is there login. You go to the devices now. Go to the conditions. Okay, what was the condition? Door open. So door is open. Okay, so when door is open, door open is true. Then what I need to do is uh, fan is hi and add one more action uh, lamp is 
on let me check again uh, door open fan on light on yes so fan on light on take the screenshot sometimes you know the condition will, be add, will not be added so take the screenshot click ok now it's added ok then again go back to uh, next condition door closed ok door is closed in that case you have to go for door open is false then fan status is off yes then lamp status is off okay now what i will going to do i will open the door here how do you open the door just go and click the alt button and press here now door is open fan and lamp on okay then press the alt key again then press the door click the door again door is closed fan and lamp off okay lamp will take some time okay i think the condition let me check the condition again uh, did i uh, turn off the uh, here i have to make the lamp off okay incomplete action okay lamp status is off now it will be working so now door open so close okay now this uh, second activity hope you understood thanks